I was scrolling through Twitter and Jerry Blevins tweeted, I know Shohei is a unicorn, but Jacob deGrom is the best baseball player on the planet, better at his job than any other player by a significant margin. And I thought, wow, your reaction to that and to Grom on Sunday. Uh, I know where Blevins is coming from because when you watch the performance that he did yesterday and I watched the whole thing, you come up with that. And even like prior to his injury, and you know how I am with the mechanics. Like I Tell I, this story real quick before you get into this, please. Because my in 1996, when I got drafted and went to went to camp, I made it a point to go out and watch John Smoltz throw, throw a bullpen. Yeah. I just sat down like a fan, yeah. and I was like, "Oh my God, I'm never gonna hit in the big leagues." That's what I walked <laughs> away thinking. Yeah. Everything was perfect. And you said you saw Degrom throw a side session yeah. and then called Jack your son. I did. Uh, so Excellent. I watched. Jacob DeGrom on a side day. And side days for most guys, it depends. It depends on where you are with health. It depends on where you are in your career. It depends on what you're trying to do on your side day work or you just practice in your craft. I'm telling you, Dero, the catcher, I don't know who it was at the time, he did not miss this area for the entire time. And it was just pow, 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 <laughs> fastball, slider, fastball, slider, occasional curve, slider. And it was, I looked at him like, Oh my God. Because, like, even I mean, Maddox, I imagine you were with. Miss. I mean, I play with Tommy, so he's great, but he's thrown 100. You know, my, you know, you got a guy who throws 100, just the sheer effort of it. It's, you're going to spray some, right? We watch every night. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So, stuff wise, Lauren, Jerry Blevins, like, yes, he is a unicorn. When he does what he did yesterday, and if he could even remotely resemble that the rest of the year, the Mets are going to the World Series. I, I, I can't imagine between he and Max. But, hey, this is his first start. And interestingly enough, man, I don't care he's got two Cy Youngs and he's, he's Jacob DeGrom. He's one of the best pitchers on the planet. You're still nervous. And I got that sense when I was watching this. I did, too. But I wanted everybody to feel this. Like, they're going nuts. Leonard Skinner playing. First base side of the rubber. And I'm telling you, just the feeling of, like, man, I hope I got my stuff. All right, I'm going to go right to it, D-Row, because I, I saw you in the A block. Look at this. Folks, this isn't the average major league fastball is 93.5. He's at 100, 98 to 100 miles an hour, and like Dero was saying, 93 miles an hour, 94 mile an hour sliders. This year is strikeout. Is that right? Look at this right here. You got high fastballs and sliders down and away. It's on all glove side. But here, let me just go right into this. All right, Matt Holes, fastball away. 101. His, his occasional arm side will be to lefties. Stand them up. Stop right there, Lucas. All right, so let, just allow me. You get the one away. This is such impeccable. Watch his delivery, too. If we get a chance, I mean, we're all impressed with what happens here, and then the radar lights up. If you look at his delivery, it is so effortless, and the efficiency is really good. So he lights up 101, throws 102 up near his belt letter high for a ball. This is just pure stuff. This is a great major league hitter. And you just say, you know what? You're not going to hit me. 101, 102 miles an hour. There's no other reason. Austin Riley. I want to go right to the middle of the of Braves lineup. And I'm watching this as, as, as he does all, all day with respect to how he's end up uh, attacking guys. I don't know what do we got here. We got a little frozen action right here. But Austin Riley ends up sliders down the way, sliders down the way. Here we go. Thank you. And it ends up just really just being something off on glove side. 101, 100 he misses, another 101, and then it's just stop right there. So now, you again, what he sees in his position of home plate, he has to honor not 94, not 95, not 96, but 100. Time, real quick, though, 1-0, count leverage if you ran that back, which you don't have to. 1-0, yep. he threw him a middle away. This ball gets destroyed by him 75% of the time, but it's 100 miles an hour, and it's Fouled right. off. So the, 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 the click of what a major league hitter sees every night is seeing 93 to 97 now, believe it or not. Not in our, our day. The guys that were throwing 97, 98, there were special arms. So the timing for that of what you just said, Dero, is that he's you're a tad bit late. And when you could get a guy to start thinking he's got to be even quicker, that's what this slider, yeah. which is a fastball that has two planes to it, the vertical and horizontal. Go ahead. It's it's unhittable. I mean, he had a perfect game. 96. Through six, 96 mile an hour slider. I mean, what else are you going to throw? So you got, yeah, I wanted to show the two two separations there. The high fastball, which is what he does so well. This is really cool right here. Lucas, stop at release point, please. All Look right. at that. That's a heater. 
Back up. One, I know it's a slider. One out. click right there. Good. So this is so the SNY. They have you know you always see left center field. This is right behind home, right behind center field. So folks, this is what Austin Riley's seeing. If you see this, where he's standing and his release point, where does that ball look like it's going to go? Everything looks like that looks like an arm side run four seam fastball. So. Let it go, click by click. So as it goes, about halfway, you got to determine. 90 mile an hour fastball is 0.438 tenths of a second. So the first 20 feet, you got to figure out what it is. What he does so well, because he tucks his thumb and it looks just like a fastball, somewhere right about here. Maybe one more click, Lucas. You know, right there. Stop. So it's like, all right, is that a strike? Is that a strike right there? You're in the batter's box. You have this much time. Wait a minute. Does that look like a strike from that angle? <laughs> I mean, I know what the pitch is. Of course it is. Go. All right, so keep rolling. So now the commitment, and that's why, I mean, MVP type hitters are looking like not major league hitters. Back up one more time. So I just, I can't accentuate this enough. And when we started this piece, we were, I was actually pointing to D-Row. Stop at release. All right, so he does something really cool that, that, that Nolan Ryan threw like uh, Roger Clemens. He tucks his thumb. This is really that, hard. Yeah, that's really difficult. So it, it creates, so what, this is what's happened. He's super whippy, tall guy, not really muscular, um, makes his levers work. But how the ball comes out of his hand as a result of no, no pressure or drag to create the ball to do something other than what you're trying to achieve. The efficiency, spin efficiency of the pitch. That's why this pitch and how it comes out of his hands with his extension out front and the finish, this is why we see what we see and it's so much fun. I could never do this, it was hard. I tried to tuck my thumb. I understand the logic behind it. I don't know if any, can you, can you get on here, Lucas? Uh, what I'm trying to say is most guys will throw. You're on the side of it a little bit. This, yeah. see my thumb? See underneath. So I don't want this drag because all the whole thing with spin rate, you want this ball to come out with less drag or no drag. So for guys to be able to tuck their thumb, now this just, it kind of slips out. And that's how I always felt for guys like uh, Nolan and Roger Clemens, and I'm, I'm, I'm missing, I'm sure a few, but that's really difficult. So now I in his case, he's five, off center. five guys in the game doing that. There's a few. You think so? Yeah. And then the pull down, and then the ball just comes out. So then you get this spin that you want, but the, it looks like a fastball to the hitter. So Go run ahead. this. So pause it. Yeah. So I know it's tough to see, but right here you got a little red dot. You right. started to see. And yep. as a hitter, when you're so locked in by mid-August, you see spin. You see laces at the plate. You do. You see the... Okay, that's a slider. Okay, that's a four seam heater. That looks like a change up. That looks like a splitty. Right away, right? First yes. 20 feet. Yes. Okay, okay. You can pick it up if you're going good. With him, it's 93 oh. to 96. It, it's a fastball. It's, it's a, a good heater. fastball. Yeah. That, <laughs> you're just not hitting All right, so keep playing because mile I, an hour I, sliders no, we, down and away unless you. Look at the swings, Dansby Swanson and Riley. Yeah, so 12 punch outs. He did give up Dansby in the sixth at the high fastball up out over. He gave up the two run after a walk to ruin the perfect game. Uh, but, you know, look, it, it, this is it right here. I mean, you look at when he came in. I, I, look at this. I just wonder if there was a coach in the Mets system after watching him, because he was a shortstop in college, right? Pitched a little bit. Tommy John. It, it, but, but did they see him his first bullpen and was like, hold the phone. We might have the greatest, greatest pitcher of all time no, here. No, you don't, you don't go really? to, you don't dream that way. But no, I mean, you, you didn't watch this want more. He, he's winding up like Barishnikov and just bam. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Like, the all time. A guy who was a I mean, you're watching Max Stetson. Scherzer. You're watching Max Scherzer. You're seeing breathing fire. Yeah. Just like drive and drop. Yeah, bang. Yeah, yeah. You see Tom Seaver, right? You yeah. get all fired up. You see the Grom throw on the side. Oh, it's beautiful. And it is like. I'm with you. Whoa. I like the Barishnikov right here. How about this? I mean, he was like 18 for 18 where they didn't even touch it. It ended up being 90% on the whiff rate, swing and miss, uh, the highest. Uh, but here, this is, I'm curious with you. All right. So, look, I mean, every hitting coach and every team has this. So you got right-handed batter, left-handed batter. This is the heat map since the start of 2021 when he had a so one-year right until he got hurt. Pitch in. Look at this here. 
So this was basically what I showed. High fastballs, here's the sliders. Very occasional changeup. He threw 43% sliders uh, and 57 or 56% fastballs. Wow. You can cut the plate in half. So here, so when you, right, so here, I want to, Look, this is this is this is this is out there. We have access to this on on, on uh, what uh, stats statscast. How, what would your approach be? I know he's a unicorn. I know he's amazing. Well, that matches up well with what I would like to do. That's I mean, where is I it... like the ball out over the plate. So you if would you hit... could throw me in here. I was I was out. So for me, is it just? I'd be diving out. I over know the it's plate stuff. I mean, he out stuffed. He out. He out stuffs everybody. All right, but is there is there? I don't know. I mean, I did the same thing. I know thing. what you're saying. The I did the same thing. The, the only opposite. approach for the Braves hitters the next time they see him is maybe to get up on the plate, maybe to show him a little bit something different. And then occasionally, all it takes is that one boop. But I don't think you can. Chipper Jones used to say to me all the time, d Row, you can't cover in. You're not good at it right now. Maybe you'll grow into it. So he goes, show me a guy who can dot three heaters in. And you tip your hat and you walk back to the yeah. dugout. They're going to give you something over here. It's just going to And the, the reason Grom, why, it's 100. The reason why I'm showing this is because he is such a special pitcher. He did this with two pitches. We talk about, like, the arsenal, right? Fastball. Command your fastball. Have to have a third pitch. Slider or curveball. What do you got? I got a slider, but I also have curveball in the dirt. Okay, you got a change up? Yeah, I got a change up. You know, the Bassett. Best yeah. pitch today, right? He's got like seven pitches. To, but Max, great pitchers. Four pitches. Tinker with the two different fastballs. He's got five pitches. This dude does it with two. It was an experience yesterday when he took the mound to warm up. Yeah. The fans were singing Simple Man. It was on. Yeah. Honestly. It's yeah. on. Couple cities around the country. I mean, if he's, time to be if a he's fan. close to that, yeah. Lauren. It's a pretty good one, too, Lauren.